I don't know what it is. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, maybe not. I was about to say the quality is hitting different today, but as soon as I turned the camera on, it said safe. Right, the date is 25th of October. You will see this video by the 1st of November. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Good morning, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whatever time of day it is. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm here to talk about the spirit of laziness and procrastination. This procrastination, sorry, I just deep, I don't want people to cuss me out. Anyway, the spirit of laziness is like, it's probably number one on my EOP list. EOP is enemy of progress. So being lazy is probably my number one enemy of progress. And I was in such a good place for this past few months. In terms of like work, gym, study, being healthy, my YouTube, everything was patterned. Then I moved to Holland and I kind of, at first it was like, yeah, like I'm getting used to my new environment, my new schedule, my new this and that. If I'll sort my life out next week, it gets to next week. I might wait till October. I'll give myself a full month in the country and then I'll just start patterning myself. Now the date is the end of October and my life is still shambles. Just relax. Just relax. I've been telling everyone, yeah, I've got my life together. I haven't got my life together. That was an absolute lie. I apologize to anybody I lied to about that. Do you know what it is? I was in denial. Yeah, I was in denial. I convinced myself that my life was together. My life wasn't together. And I've nailed it down to the spirit of laziness and procrastination because I am completely settled in Thailand. I've signed up to the gym. I've been in uni long enough to know how the work goes, how the exams go, all of that. That I just have no excuse anymore. I need to break myself out of this and just wake up and smell the coffee. And it sounds so bummy and I hate it because I have never been that type of person. Like I'm always on what I'm doing. I always have everything planned. I always know what I'm doing. So the fact that I'm in this situation right now is extremely upsetting for me. And that's I think why I wasn't admitting the situation I was in. Even look here, yeah. look at these chin. I can't make this up. Will you be single forever? Jesus, when will you marry? I'm just here to tell you guys that whatever area you know you're lacking in or whatever area you know you're being lazy in, I have a list of things that are the enemies of my progression. For me, I feel like laziness would be number one, but there's also other things. Like whatever's on your list, make sure you're tackling those things daily. Make sure you do anything you can to avoid being lazy or if yours is getting angry easily make sure you're doing whatever you can to avoid being angry or if yours is hanging around with the wrong people and giving into peer pressure make sure you're actively looking for other people to hang around with that you know are going to have a positive influence on you and you're actively trying to find out who you are because once you know who you are you don't give in to the peer pressure of other people because you know who you are and what you stand for so whatever these things are for you make sure you're tackling them and make sure that you're conquering them daily because honestly like these things are our weaknesses they're our achilles heels and it's the easiest way to for the devil to attack us like i know the biggest downfall of my faith is laziness like i'll put off reading my bible or praying until the end of the day and then at the end of the day obviously you know you're tired um I know that the downfall of my faith is laziness like i'll literally i'll get home and i'll be like okay yeah like i'm gonna read my bible but let me eat first and let me do this first and by the time i've done whatever else i'm doing and procrastinating and reading my bible i'm asleep do you know what i mean it's like putting everything else in front of what really needs to happen your relationship with god is like any other relationship it can't grow if you don't give it time if you don't give it attention if you don't nurture it, and if you don't spend time with god and if i'm being lazy and spending time with god and i'm being lazy and reading the word and getting to know god more and spending more time with him and you know just nurturing my relationship with him it's gonna crumble so i know that one thing i very much need to tackle is laziness and procrastinate give me one second procrastination there we go i know that that's what i need to tackle to make sure that my faith is not struggling so ask yourself like what things are coming against your faith what things are preventing you from making god a priority and from nurturing your faith and nurturing your relationship whatever these things are you need to wake up with an attitude that i'm gonna tackle this today 
I'm gonna make sure that this is not what is the end of my progress today. I'm gonna make sure that this thing is not standing in my way. It's not standing in between me and God. It's not standing in the way of me and a productive day. It's not standing in the way of me and my happiness, you know? So whatever those things, make it your business to wake up every morning and make sure you conquer that. If it's laziness like me, maybe the first thing you should do is wake up early and go to the gym. So you already got the ball rolling. And from there, it will be easier. It's just that initial like getting things done. Wake up, pray, read the word before you do anything else. Make sure you don't go on your phone until you've got these things done and you know, get on with the rest of your day. It's just about taking precautions and taking the right measures to make sure that you're conquering these things and you're tackling these things and you're not letting them take over your life. Because once they take over your life, you'll look like this, like me. And you're gonna be slacking behind um, where you wanna be. If Netflix is what's getting between you and God, unsubscribe or log out with whoever subscription you're using. And I, oh! You wanna progress in this life, you wanna progress in your faith, and you wanna progress in your relationship with God. Don't let these be the things that stop you. Because it just feels so stupid to say like, oh, the reason that I'm not as close to God at the moment is because I've been lazy and I've been procrastinating. That, I'm actually an adult, I have no excuse. My time for being lazy should have never happened. My time for procrastination. It should be long gone. It should be long gone. So whatever that thing is for you, make sure you're tackling it. Make sure you're not letting it get in between you and your progression. So the verse of the video, lazy people are soon poor and hard workers are soon rich. Now, being poor and being rich doesn't just mean money. It can be like rich in health, rich in wealth, rich in love, rich in your relationship with God. Like people have that, I, people hear rich and poor and they just automatically think of money. Being lazy will lead to being poor in every aspect of your life. If you're lazy, if you don't nurture yourself, your environment, your relationship with God, if you don't make sure that your priorities are in check, you will become poor. You'll become poor in health, you'll become poor in your mindset, you'll become probably poor and wealthy. You can't be wealthy and have money and be lazy. Unless you've got some mad inheritance, the, the two just don't coexist, you know? So you've got to make sure that you're working hard so that you can be rich in health, rich in wealth, rich in love, rich in your relationship with God, you know? Laziness really doesn't get you anywhere in this life. And you always feel more rewarded and you always feel you always feel better for it. And when you actually do work hard and you reap the benefits, you reap the results, you become rich. So remember, lazy, poor, hardworking, rich. Like, comment, subscribe, deuces.